EV2 test is an unswerving measure to examine the bearing strength factor of formation structure in railway and highway projects. It provides more relevant and clear idea about behavior characteristics of blanket and subgrade under dynamic loading. EV2 value is second stage elastic strain modulus of subgrade. Now let's perform the EV2 test. EV2 measuring bridge. It works as supporting frame for transducer. With three probe supports, hydraulic jack and pump system, it is used for loading and unloading. EV2 measuring box with digital display, steel cylinders to compensate height along with magnet, 300 mm dia loading plate with load cell. We use JCB for reaction, which shall be minimum 5 ton. Very first we will level the ground with sand, if any undulations are there. Then we will set the testing plate and again check the level with level bubble. We will place hydraulic jack over the loading plate. Magnet will be fixed exactly centering with the center of plate and the rest height between loading jack and magnet will be compensated with compensating cylinders. And we'll lift the jack, with the help of pump to tighten the jack and cylinder assembly. And we'll make sure that it is firmly fixed and straight. Clear height between reaction beam and plate shall be 75 cm minimum, and we'll mark 1.5 m distance from plate center where beam supports shall rest. We will place measurement bridge, on marked position. After placing the measurement beam on marked position, we will fix up the transducer in measuring beam and after fixing the transducer in beam, the cantilever portion of the bridge will be extended out up to center of loading plate. We'll fix the position of bridge with the help of central screw. Then after transducer will be centered with the exact center of loading plate. Transducer shall be perfectly vertical, with leveling bubble provided over cantilever beam portion. Now, two different cables, one coming from transducer and another one coming from load cell will be connected to digital measuring box, matching with the color coding of both cables. After inserting the cable, the settlement value on screen will be set to zero by adjusting transducer. When the settlement on screen is zero, we will apply the first preload of 10 kilo newton per meter square and will wait for 30 seconds. Then we will apply first load of 80 kilo newton per meter square and we will wait for 60 seconds as per DI encode. After waiting for 60 seconds we will press the OK button and apply the second load of 160 kilo newton per meter square. This same process will be followed for all five subsequent loading up to 500 kilo newton per meter square. After loading up to 500, unloading will start with decrements of 50% of previous load value. Then second cycle of loading will follow and go up to 420. The loading and unloading sequence, which has to be followed. On completion, we will press OK and then the menu button, which will display the EV2 value on the screen. By pressing the print button we will obtain the printed sheet from the machine itself. Depicting the EV2 value. Two test report. Okay. After completion of EV2 test, we collect, we obtain report from uh, electronic box. Okay. Okay. Finally, the EV2 value is 132.9 mm per meter square.
Thank you.